Hey there, game developers. Naughty Dog has had many complaints about crunch from employees. It looks like crunch is a severe problem at the studio, and we're going to talk about crunch at Naughty Dog today. If you look at their glass door reviews, they're enlightening. All of the top five most common employee complaints are different ways of describing crunch time. I'm going to quote just a couple of the employees here. A former programmer writes, I have been through many crunches. Naughty Dog was by far the worst. They say they're going to change every time, and then they never do. If you're going to join this company, you have to be okay with doing 60 to 80 hours a week for one to two years for every project. That same developer writes, if you took avoiding crunch as seriously as you take making great games, I doubt you would even crunch. An anonymous current employee wrote the following in October of 2019. The crunch hours are awful. This has been the worst and the longest crunch I have ever been part of. Despite management's efforts to mitigate crunch with careful planning, and strict deadlines, the game ballooned, level designs changed after design lock, and thousands of hours of work were thrown away or redone. If you have a child or a loved one waiting for you at home, chances are you won't see their waking faces for days at a time. They either need to be really understanding, or this is not the job for you. We keep losing our best people, because they keep getting burnt out. These reviews make the human cost of crunch clear. Naughty Dog is asking developers to spend more of their life at work than they spend with their families. Naughty Dog is destroying their employees' passion for making games, damaging their employees' relationships, and destroying their employees' health. Crunch doesn't just affect the workers, though. Crunch makes games and game studios worse. The Glassdoor reviews mentioned that the studio keeps losing its best developers and that thousands of hours of work had to be thrown out or redone. And this is what Crunch does to every studio that relies on it. The Game Outcomes Project shows that Crunch results in lower quality games that don't sell as well as they would have without the Crunch. Game Informer published an interview with Neil Druckmann and Evan Wells this weekend, and some of the things said are red flags that I warn my students to watch out for during their interview. When you get a chance to ask questions at the end of a job interview, one of the questions you should ask is, what kind of people do you hope to hire? There is no right answer to this question, but there are wrong answers. If the interviewer's answer is something like passionate or hardworking, that's a red flag, and you shouldn't accept that job. It means that they intend to overwork and underpay you. Many managers consider working overtime to be an expression of a developer's passion. It isn't. It's a weird part of our culture that doing hard work is more valued than doing good work. Every year, I have one or two students that brag about pulling all-nighters or about how many hours they worked, and it always feels weird to me. It's like bragging about being bad at time management or bragging about being an inefficient worker. I try to change my students' mindset about this as early as possible in the degree program so they don't burn out before they've gotten their first game industry job. You should work smarter not harder. Naughty Dog has formed working groups to try and solve their crunch problems, but I have concerns. I've heard of horror stories of 24-hour long shifts and 100-hour long weeks at Naughty Dog. You don't ask this of anyone if you respect them or you respect their time. The forming of these working groups could be the extent of the work that they do to end crunch. However, if Naughty Dog is serious about combating crunch, then they should adopt this policy that I've implemented at my studio. Everybody at my studio must clock in and clock out to log their work hours. And 
I must pay time and a half for any employee that works overtime, even if they are exempt from overtime by the overtime exemption rule in the Fair Labor Standards Act. In the United States, the Fair Labor Standards Act, or FLSA, has an exception that allows game studios to overwork and underpay their employees. Any worker that makes more than $35,568 per year is exempt from earning overtime. This means that studios like Naughty Dog can require their employees to work 100 hours a week without compensating them for 60 hours of that work. This exception is why uncompensated crunch time is a huge problem in the game industry, at least in the United States. Ending this exception would force studios to compensate their employees fairly and remove incentive for studios to overwork their employees. Most studios won't adopt a policy like this voluntarily, and it might be in our industry's best interest to advocate for the removal of the overtime rule exception. Also, Unionizing might be a good idea for Naughty Dog employees. Unions can help combat uncompensated crunch time. If you want to keep up to date with what's happening in the game industry, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get back into doing these industry updates every weekday. I have also started doing game development tutorials and longer video essays. I should also mention that I started a Patreon I didn't start this channel to make money, and I don't rely on donations to make these videos. But go ahead and subscribe if you want to have a say in topics of some of my future videos, or if you want your name in the credits of my videos.